Subscription, pull, subscribe on the channel, and go on the computer and watch his channel. Goodbye, you. see you tomorrow. We do the video and subscribe on the channel. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show. Um, the weather has turned inclement, of course, right when those fish start biting. Um, we had a huge cold front come through. It's only like 40 degrees today. So I figured we do technique of the week number eight. How I rig up a speed worm and also do this month's giveaway. So let's get started. So a few things you will need for this. Obviously your speed worm of choice. You, uh, I like to use the 3 aught TK125-Z. This is the Mark Zona signature with the keeper. And then in here you will find my bobber stuff. need one of them and also a 16th ounce bullet weight of your choice whether it's lead or tungsten just to give it a little bit of casting weight and your trusty dusty skizzers so we're going to take our barber stop we are going to isolate one of them run our line through the wire loop good three or four inches then grab it pull your bobber stop off past the line and once it once it flips forward you know you're on let me get a little slack here you are on see that dude that little black wrapper stop so we got that part done so we can put them up and watch them wires with you know with your stamp bobber stop something will poke you right through the finger next number two will be our trusty 16th ounce bullet weight I'm gonna scooch this up the line a little bit because we all know how tying a hook on with a bullet weight on can be a pain in the butt. So speaking of that, I'm going to grab just a little more slack here. Okay. TK125-Z. <clears throat> I'm gonna tie a Palomar knot. But I am gonna learn that uh, double pitson knot. Cause it's not really a knot, I guess it's more like a cinch. Like a clinch down knot. And I don't mind clinch knots. Alright, so we're getting our Palomar, make sure no line is folded over on itself. Now we're going to bring our hook through. But what I do is I keep my index finger and thumb up there by the line tie so I can keep it from getting bunched up in case there's an opening and it's not a welded closed hook eyelet. which this case there definitely was an opening, but it's still a great hook. Okay, so we got our Palomar, it's stacked nice. We're gonna cut off our slack. Now this is 13 Fishing's version of the same speed worm called the Ninja Worm. And the difference between the two it's still got the bulbous body like a speed worm 
but it's got a segmented tail. Right there you see the segment midway down the worm. The controversy always have the U-tail pointing up. So with that in mind, we are gonna rig the opposite way. We'll go down to the bottom of the bait. Get our hook point buried there. Come out. Make sure she can sit on that pretty bait keeper. Now on 13's version, there's a slit. And then I leave my finger up there so I can feel if it's coming out where it should be, which it is. Which is right there, folks. Look at that. So now you have your speed worm rigged up. You can bring your bobber stop down. Snug her down to the old bullet weight. And now you have basically a five and almost six inch, seven inch swim bait basically. The good thing about these though, is you can pause it in big pockets of vegetation and it's gonna go. It's not gonna go, well, you know, with the weight, but it's still gonna have more of a vertical fall instead of being like bonk. So it's a great way to cover water as the water is warming up once we get into the mid fifties and up. There is a period where this thing will, I'll be throwing the crap out of it. I, I like to throw it on the six nine medium heavy this one here is the Bass Pro Shops Bionic Blade uh, with a quantum throttle on it on 30 ties. So that's how I rig up my speed berms, folks. So let's get on to the giveaway. All right, I'm going to make it short and sweet. I'm giving away one pack, one four pack of three eighths ounce green pumpkin wobble heads along with the Jordan Lee power bait what is it champ crawl along with those swim baits from last month that nobody claimed so not only do you get the wobble heads but you get last month's stuff too so I'll leave it in 3d font at the end of the video um hashtag wobblehead all one word you'll see so with that i bid you farewell folks this is brian from guy with the gopro fishing show out for now but just for now